I'm already rolling. <laughs> what are you doing? I did a sh uh, thing last year with my buddy Gabe Witcher, who created from the original score of Aaron Copeland's Rodeo, uh, that whole piece of music, like every bit of it. For but you do realize it's lunchtime. A six piece, a six piece bluegrass band. I've already had the food. You did. So this you're is, just practicing. This is, this is what I. This boy? is the time I have to practice because I'm not good at getting home at night. I get it. Uh, anyway, I'm just trying to. We did all this stuff back in um, September of last year, and it's kind of it's interesting how you're. I worked on this so much, like all last summer. It's, it's all there in my brain, but it's been you know sitting under the surface. Is it hard? Last year, so I'm just trying to dredge up. Oh yeah, that's where I did that. Hard as hell. No, it's not that bad. It's just it's just a lot. I mean, it's like whatever, however minutes of of composed music, you know. How long is the songs? Forever. Um, the thing I'm working on right now is like eight and a half minutes. Damn. <laughs> wow. But it's all it's all written. You never, you don't read music, do you? No, I can't read music. But like all this stuff, like these are all the pieces. You can read that off your iPad while you're playing? Yeah, I got a little foot switch and, and, uh. Cool. So that's the whole thing. It's pretty cool how it all comes together. But it's, uh, Gabe Witcher, former. I had a gig with him. I don't yeah. Know what else he's, he's a, he's a great musician and well, does a lot is. of that kind of cross, uh, you know, cross-cultural stuff, yeah, like bluegrass yeah. and country, he's, he's West Coast world, and unbelievable then, uh, player, man. and then like this kind of thing where you know he gets commissioned by it's the Martha Graham Dance Company, wow. you know, big deal kind of deep, uh, thing. But uh, yeah, with this uh, Paul Cowart, the Punch Brothers, is playing bass, and a yeah. uh, great mandolin player and cellist from L.A. and my friend Wes Corbett playing banjo. Yeah. Gabe is is conducting us counting, watching the dancers for cues, and also playing a kick drum. And violin for fiddle at the same time. <laughs> Do you want to be a part of my amazing s series that I've been working on called Hey Man, Show Me a Cool Lick? <laughs> Do, would you like to be a part of it? Yeah, I'll show you the Tony Rice lick. Yeah, give me a good lick. Just give me a good lick. Let me... Something that people can use. Oh, oh. just that. Yeah, it's just that. <laughs> Any questions? So is that what tone is supposed to sound like? This is an acoustic guitar resonant chamber that echoes, reverberates, vibrates. Every note should. Let's hear the tap on the top on that one, real close. Give me the old tap. Mm, what note is that? Sometimes it's E. E ish. But even the high notes mm. should just take off. Leading to this, okay. you know, basically uh, F shape, the seventh, hammering in, backtracking. Give me, give me the context of the song. Like, what, um, kind of, what kind of groove? Any kind of thing that just gets to that. Uh, okay. My hands aren't open up. I do it there too. Anyway, B over this. B flat uh, minor over B. Yeah, yeah. And then A minor over C. Tommy Emanuel kind of da -da 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 things, harmonics. I know? can't. I never got into that. Yeah. I just started trying to be able to do this. My, my hands were so small. Yeah. It takes so much. I call it the noiseless F word. I can't do much with every with anything else. I'm just yeah. lucky to get an F out. Yeah. But it helps with the. Uh... Oh yeah. is a bit of a bitch. Yeah. It really is. But again, my hands are so small. I can... A lot of people 
like you that can throw that over there and still get a lot of sustain and tone and everything. Okay. Yes. I'm still working you got on it. that. You, well, you, you, you end up hitting with the lower part of your thumb. Yeah, and yeah, it's not a really good F note. It's kind of, it's it's like cheap. 58% of the way there. <laughs> Give me a, uh, what's another good lick? Give me two good licks today since we're bored and we got to move the Um... All right, here's your, uh, this one uh, I've been having fun with on the road with uh, the Vela Fleck band with Michael Cleveland and Sierra Hole. Uh, it's kind of a bluegrass off of a D minor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I bet you can't even do that slow. What's the slowest you can play that? trick is all that silly uh, sweepy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which is two downs. Uh, down, up, up, down. Yeah, two ups. This, this have, uh, I'll leave you alone after this, I promise. I know you got work to do. Uh, so give me an illustration of how uh, a bluegrass guy hits an open D and a G and then like a rock guy hits an open D and a G. On acoustic. So show me the difference. Well, the bluegrass, again, it's going to be. Let me see. I want to get right up on this. Wrist angle, forearm. <laughs> kind of the glancing blow of the pick, rest strokes. Again, that gets that uh, you know, right. reverberation and punch out there. So the rock guy. Do it on there <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, you That's can the hear that on MTV on the Yeah, pentatonic yeah. scale. Okay. Uh, you're not using the you're using the Yeah, the blue chip TP48. What if you do that with the shoulder? What's it sound like? Well, like one of these guys? Well, yeah, the big fat thing. Yeah, like this. But this is the Dunlop 1.14. Okay. It's, it's good. I use these for a long time. Velvet hammers. They're a little too wispy on the front of the note. Yeah. I, li I like these. They're fatter. Oh no! You got a lot of a lot of picks over here. Yeah, I know that's my that's my that's your that's my EQ. That's it. EQ. I mean, check that. So old text. That's a beautiful backdrop for the Dunlap. So I used this on the last take. You know, like on one of the separate passes where I'm doing more strumming. That's what you need in this yeah. world. Still, these old texts kind of still maintain a lot of good mid range. So how many different types of picks do you reckon you got there? Ten. Uh, easily. Here's where it gets to the world of minutia. If we're going to have a minutia chat, yeah, I love like this one that's been used more than, say, this one, or this one that's more brand new, the these uh, 500s, there's a 71. So here's the brand new one that's still going to be a little more bright. Not as bright as the 73 old text. Similar sound. It's not as much tick on the front. Really good for smooth country, but this is one that's been worn down a little more. Spongier. Spongier. And it glides through the strings a little more too because there's just less of a point. You know, the only picks I use when I play the Do you ever put on socks and like have one that's shorter than the other one that they're, they get rolled up and they're just tight? Their shoes that are too, you know, too tight. Uh, uh, do you have any really, really thin picks over there? Yeah, that's what I was just showing you. This, this. Those point are six real so. thin. Those um, are super thin. And this guy here, the red. Okay. You know, yeah. just. Yeah. 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 So you'd rather bring a bunch of different picks and a bunch of different guitars. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. voices yeah. and uh, yeah. and how the stuff, especially yeah. like the high end. You know, drives with the yeah. uh, with the song and the singer. And we always say, you and I always say that these are the best tuners ever. Right? Oh yeah, we buy everyone we can find. You will not find better. I've got yeah. four of those in in storage somewhere. 
Yeah, in case one breaks. Yeah. In case they don't break. They don't make them anymore, do they? I don't think so, no. Uh, all right, did I plug you enough? Anything else you want to say? What have you been thinking about? Is this for the, for the homeschool? Yeah. What have you been thinking about? I don't know what I've been thinking about. <laughs> Since we last talked. <laughs> You're the most popular guest on the homeschool show. You know that? You've been on more. You've been on more times than Gordon Moe. Good. I'll send you a bill. <laughs> Love you, Brian. Love you. Too. Part two. Part two. Is so you... we're going to have a little lesson in rhythm. Rhythm lesson. All right. We're going to go to seventy-five beats a minute, clicking on one and three of a bar. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And this is more, you know, focused towards like strumming. Assuming that that's kind of a functional, just efficient way to move your hand, like we all do, right? Sure. Versus maybe the song calls for that, right, or right. but in this kind of general case, just strumming an acoustic, that's what we need is alternating what down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and again, the most sort of efficient, functional bar after bar after bar of potential steadiness. Point is, is that if that's not there, most everything that we all try to do is going to fall apart rhythmically in some way. A lot of us deal with that. thing you can test yourself with, this is sort of the, the, the marker of it, is that you have to be able to trust that mechanism. And I'm doing that right now even as I talk to you. Right. Because this is still going. We're talking about that we had Indian food for lunch. Right. And we cut a song with Lauren Watkins this right, morning. And, right. and I was cutting some bluegrass music earlier right. this week. And it stormed last night in Nashville. And yeah. we're going to go see Vernon Reed and Nuno Betancourt yeah. tomorrow night at the Ryman. So my consciousness is yesterday, last week, today, the weather, next week. And this doesn't change. Right. And that doesn't happen because I'm talented. That happens because I've worked on it. Right. But if you can't do this or even clap consistently down up down up down up down up and that's right. like the physical side and the drilling the athletic stuff you be your own drummer right if you can't believe in that and feel that inform everything you're doing again it's like layers of a cake or a house if that foundation rhythmically is 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 not there and again the real payoff of the work is the fact that it is unconscious totally. so the consciousness can go all over the place right in your black shoes and you know right. I, I can make all kinds of choices about life still doing right. this right the honest side is I, I don't know that i could improvise a solo just because that now a lot of that consciousness right is is involved it, like your brain is sort of has a fixed amount of what it can process at right. any given time right so i'm multitasking is hard i can do that because this is so trustworthy and practiced right. Right. just like walking you and you know, normal human beings are going to trust their balance Right. Hey Joe, it's a moment for minutia. Saying, Come on guys, in, Joey. Talking about some new minutia here. Minutia. <laughs> minutia. Yeah. Anyway, but it's but but you guys out there in the homeschool world, homeschool world, try that. Just get any guitar, get a metronome, and use a tempo that's going to actually promote more steadiness. Don't do anything too slow or too right. fast. Just something that you could possibly trust. Uh, but the point is, can you do this or even clap and talk to your Right. You know, whoever's in your house or, or, your kids. or, or describe what you did yesterday or right. what you're going to do this weekend. Right, right. And, I'm going to try that. Hear that. I'm going right? to try that, but I can't even do that. That's <laughs> so, awesome. All right. Thank you, Brian. One, two. Let me then assume some better <laughs> posture, not just like. No, let me get a crotch slouching, shot. Slouching, slouching, post crotch. Shot. When I get out of here, I'm going to ask Joey about uh, how awesome so you are. I get to participate in the Newman News yeah, podcast. You wanna, I'm gonna you wanna, yeah, you can, I'm going to ask him about how amazing you are and why he why he loves you. So oh, get out of here. Uh, yeah. I just want to okay. stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, going to go practice. Yeah, very right. dry, so, and sparse sense of humor. <laughs> you have a lot of choices when it comes to session musicians in this town. There's a yeah. million guys on each instrument. Why would you choose Brian Sutton? Brian Sutton is the source of yeah. all acoustic music. Yes. He is the source. You can't go any closer to That's music. it. That's it. That's it. He's the best. That's it. That's it. The best combination, the best technician, but also he can hear a song and always get inspired. He can he can listen to a song and he just his default setting is to try and create a piece of music around it. Instead of just playing some sort of square pattern or something, he's mm -hmm. always creating something and always trying to make something better on top of his technical prowess he just he's, he's just the perfect package of creator yeah, man um, creator technician 
he plays several different instruments very well too, which is just handy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's very handy. It's on the gap between him and the next person is right. right. It's Amazing. Huge. Did you did you notice? Did you ever look and see how many picks he has out there? Uh, different types of picks. It's, oh, it's so crazy. I'm sure. It's pretty I'm crazy. sure you guys can have a nice <laughs> new manoush <laughs> podcast about. Joey's gonna, Joey the effectiveness he, of having a diverse pick selection. Yeah. Joey said that Brian and I should start a, a show called New Minutia, right? New yeah, because every time, every time, and it's kind of a joke between all of us. Like yeah. every time they get in the room together, yeah. they end up in a corner <laughs> with some weird, obscure guitar, talking about like some tiny little detail about it, and they hand it back and forth, and they play it, and then uh, they play it back. And forth. Oh, man. <laughs> so we we, oh, so man. we we named it. New Manoush, Tom and Brian. New Manoush. We got another legend here. Hey, how hey, you doing, Danny? Good, good. We were just talking about what a badass Brian Sutton is. He is something He's else. He's a badass, boy. isn't he? God. All right, well, thanks for being on the show, fellas. Hey. All right. Anytime. <laughs>